Hey everybody, welcome back to Black Sheep Overland Adventures. As you guys may know, Rachel and I and uh, a group of uh, Jeepers, a uh, small group, are going to make a trip to Colorado. And um, we have no plans to you know, stay in a hotel or anything like that. <clears throat> um, so we're gonna, we're gonna overland it. We're going to stay um, Rachel, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe eight nights, mm -hmm. um, actually on the trail. So in order to do that, we have, um, uh, assembled all of our meals and, um, and all inside this basket. And of course, you know, in this video, you'll see the refrigerator that it'll be going in. So we took the liberty of weighing this, uh, basket prior to the video, so trust me when I tell you that it weighs 19.4 pounds. <laughs> so 19.4 pounds for eight days, so a little over two pounds uh, per day. That <laughs> sounds like a lot, being <laughs> set like that. But anyway, <clears throat> we've, we've been uh, preparing for this trip um, since about February or March. And um, another group of uh, outdoor enthusiasts are going. Uh, Best Life Outdoor Adventures, Bruce and Candy Clunch. Yeah. And, uh, and another Jeeper that we know of, Chad, goes with us all the time. So anyway, we thought um, it might be interesting for you guys as viewers to kind of get an idea of uh, what that looks like. So we're going to unpack it. So you can have a look at it now. Just for your information, <clears throat> Rachel and I are, um, we are not really dieting, but we're limiting our carb intake just in our lives in general. And uh, so you won't see a whole lot of carbs mixed in here. There are some, but not a whole lot. So, you know, you prepare for yourself, um, but so we've prepared for, you know, our lifestyle and our diet. So here we go. Let's have a look. <clears throat> so we just we've um, kind of accumulated it uh, over the past. I, I think we started putting this together um, two or three weeks ago, and um, so this is how we've kept it in our freezer, and then we'll transfer it over to our fridge. So we we just put these in. And so what we've done <clears throat> here are these are sausage patties. For breakfast and um, they won't cover just one day there'll be several days there it's actually each day is wrapped in a individual package so so each day is covered yeah so we have one two three four days of sausage and we have some other breakfast items too but it's just four days there's of another package of sausage in there. <laughs> we got plenty of sausage and uh, we, we might want to share might depend on mine to the mess we make we just covered it with this um, aluminum foil because you know we have other folks around want to make sure they knew this was for the Colorado trip <clears throat> it's not necessary to cover it with aluminum foil other than just to mark it <laughs> okay okay so we swapped rolls now mm -hmm. um so Rachel is gonna looks like somebody's come behind me and added a couple of things in here we got some bacon. Uh, I took time because one of the things we wanted to have, I'm gonna put this over to the side because it goes in a different order. We wanted to have Philly cheesesteaks one night uh, and the way we do those is actually in a wrap. So David already mentioned we're kind of limiting carbs. So we took wraps instead of buns and they are in a different bag. But I went ahead and took time to cut up some onions and bell peppers to go with the cheesesteaks. So that's a meal that we're gonna have one night and our cheese is right here. We like baby Swiss cheese with that. So that's a, a whole dinner. And then we have this other bag of sausage. So we actually have breakfast sausage individually wrapped for each day for the whole eight days. So those will go together when I stack them back in here. Then we have Hamburgers for one night. I went ahead and uh, seasoned this hamburger meat up with with our favorite seasoning, which is 
like some Montreal steak and a little bit of barbecue sauce, patted them out and individually wrapped them too so they won't be froze stuck together. We do have our you homey fridge or cooler actually will get down to like 20 degrees so we can we can keep everything frozen uh, while we're on the trail. So there's our hamburger and I've also cut up some potatoes and squash so that we can have potatoes and squash with our hamburgers. And of course, you have to have cheese, right? So David and I like different sorts of cheese. So there's the cheese. <laughs> um, another thing we have that we packed is chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. So uh, I have additional cheese in a different uh, cooler that's gonna go with this because it doesn't have to stay quite as cold, but that's gonna go with this. Um, and we will also have some of our potatoes and squash with that. Another thing we really enjoy is the, we call it succotash. It's basically just a bunch of fried vegetables together uh, with some kielbasa sausage. So I've got kielbasa sausage here. And then I have chopped up fresh okra. More fresh squash. And we also have potatoes that we're taking with us. And then we kind of like uh, green beans in that too. So that's a whole vegetable meal there with a little bit of kielbasa sausage. And who can go to Colorado and not have venison? So we are going to have a deer steak dinner and uh, we'll be having most likely leftovers from this sausage because we'll be able to cool that too. We have an extra hamburger. The purpose of this is for tacos. So that's the only thing that's in the cooler. Uh, for that meal is the frozen hamburger meat that we'll chop up for our uh, tacos. We'll have that with burrito shells as well. The cheese is in a different package. And we have taco seasoning in our little kitchen that we can show you when we get outside. We've got a small cooler that is going to carry all of our seasoning and stuff in it. Extra hamburgers just in case. And then we've got the filet mignon. And those are individually packaged. We get those from a local processing uh, house, Arkansas Quality Processing, in case you're interested. We always get all of our fresh meat from them. Centerville, Arkansas, give them a call. Yep. And then uh, vegetables that we're gonna have with the filet mignon. So there you have it. That is all of our meals. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just running back through it real quick. We've got uh, sausage for breakfast. We also have bacon. We're going to carry eggs in a separate cooler as well. We've got our Philly cheesesteak. We've got hamburgers along with we'll be able to fry squash and potatoes. We have our chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast for one night. Um, then we have our succotash or all of our fried veggies there we've got our grilled or our deer our venison for cooking one night we've got our taco meat and extra vegetables and all of that fits into this wire basket that fits right down inside our you homey refrigerator okay so here we go we got everything stacked back in there and we're going to carry it outside to the cooler All right, here's our fridge. That's what it looks like. You can see it's on, uh, set to 26 degrees right now. And David has built us this handy slide out so we can pull it out and get to it really easily. Okay, I think there's a couple of things you gotta pull out of there. Yeah. if you can see or not let me see this drink this just came out of there and it's uh, icy cold you can see the fog on it <clears throat> so 
see the house. Oh yeah, in there. there's ice in there. The lower you go in the fridge, the more freeze you get. These are cheeses. Snack cheese. Cheese wraps. More cheese. <laughs> okay. That's for the tacos. <laughs> I got this. And you can see it just fits right in there. No problem at all. And we even have a little bit of space on the top to store a couple other things. A few drinks if they want. And the drinks are back here in the back. So you can have eight or ten drinks or so in there. You know, whatever you choose. You want to close it? And it's a little tight. Bam! There, there it go. is. Awesome. So now we are packed with the food that we need for eight days. In case you're wondering, we didn't talk about lunch, but uh, we're planning on having probably sandwiches for, for lunch or leftovers. This is my spice cabinet. And it has toothpicks because nobody leaves home without them. We've got a few little tiny burrito wraps, <laughs> taco wraps. With the squirrels. Yeah, I uh, can't leave home without my Cavenders and the taco mix that I mentioned earlier when we were pulling the freezer items out. Of course, we have salt and pepper. I'm trying to, hold on. There we go. I've got garlic powder and I've got a little bit of onion powder too. That's in there, there we go. And a couple of dish towels there to the side and then a little bit of silverware. And David likes this Canadian chicken. We also have some Montreal steak, I think. Has it made it out here yet? No, I didn't know. Okay. And you gotta have something to uh, put on the Blackstone grill to keep everything from sticking. So that's our Frisco. 